Hey guys, it's Terry with Good Dog Coaching and Pet Care, and I'm here with Peaches. And um, I just wanted to share with you a technique um, in terms of you know walking your dog. If you have a dog that wants to forge ahead, move ahead, um, this is a great technique. It's a simple technique, and uh, it's, it's called spatial pressure. We use spatial pressure to move the dog backwards. So ideally, when I'm walking with a dog, I want them. In the heel position right not a super tight heel but just you know i want their head back here not up here not next to me certainly not in front of me um, i want them back here so that when i'm moving wherever i go they're in the following position but also they can see me to to follow me right so uh if you have a dog even if the leash is loose and they start to, to move up either forge ahead or creep up you can use this technique all right when you take your dog out for a walk, don't worry about how far you get. It's more about the technique and teaching them how to walk nicely on a leash, all right? Um, this is great for dogs that want to pull here or there. It's great for dogs that are reactive. Um, but uh, I had posted, uh, put a post up about using the 180 turns, and um, that's one technique. This is another technique. So. Uh, this is just another thing you can do to, to teach your dog to kind of stay back, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start walking with her, and she has a habit of, you know, kind of creeping up. Um, the moment she starts to move ahead, I'm simply going to turn my body into her and walk back, you know, walk her backwards. I'm going to keep walking towards her. I can pop back on the leash a little bit, but I'm going to keep walking towards her until she disengages. In other words, you know, she's, she's doing this, and the moment she turns and disengages from me, I'll mark that with good, and then I'll turn back around and, and walk again, all right? Go back in the direction I was going. So, in other words, walking, 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 she starts to creep up, I turn into her, walk toward her, so I'm backing her up. The moment she disengages, I mark it with good. As I turn into her and I'm walking her back, I can be popping back a little bit on the leash as well, or pop and hold, um, you know, popping, really is the best thing but um, just gets them to back up a little bit now, listen your dog might sit down your dog might you know go in circles you might be going circles for a, for a little bit the first few times you do this but um, some dogs are easier than others right you just stick with it you just do it over and over wrong sit good until your dog stops trying to move ahead okay just because that's the main thing with dog training is repetition and consistency all right, you're teaching your dog, don't pass me. Don't try and move up, okay? And also your dog kind of learns, wow, I better pay attention to this human because I don't I don't know what they're gonna do next, all right? So I'm gonna show you that and then uh, we'll go from there. Let's go. Okay, so sit. Good. So you saw it there a few times. Um, you know, I've been working with her on not moving ahead, so um, she's not terrible. There's some dogs that are really just like, you know, really want to get ahead of you. Um, but again, try it. Keep doing it. Be consistent. You know, be consistent with where is the boundary. You know, if 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 sometimes it's back here and sometimes it's up here that's confusing to your dog so kind of set a boundary and you know the heel position which is the dog's nose no further up than the back of your leg or your heel is a good you know kind of an invisible barrier and so the moment that nose passes that mark turn into your dog walk them backwards until they disengage mark it with good and then turn back around and keep on walking all right if you have questions feel free to post them in the comment section um, or email me always at info at good dog coaching again Terry good dog coaching and pet care peaches and uh, have a great day let's go